Hello and welcome to another microphone. Another episode of SimCity where you a uh, big city tutorial. So you want a big rich city. This tutorial seems to you know how to create a small city with at least twenty thousand sims and a strong positive cash flow. If you don't know how to make a city like this, we recommend you take a look at the making money tutorial before continuing here. To go to the making money tutorial, exit this tutorial and return to the region. Actually, to go to the make money in money tutorial, exit this video, return my um my channel page, and go to the making money tutorial. Some city let's play. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Otherwise, please watch this video where I will click continue to begin. Or you can do it on your own. Turn this city around. This city is getting big, but is still low down, dirty, and poor. Previous mayor made a practice of hoarding as much it taxing them as possible and depriving his city sims of almost all services. As a result, there are no schools, hospitals, parks, or police stations in this city. Merchants turn things around here and set the city to positive paths for the future. I wonder why a player of Sin City would do that. I mean, <laughs> I would like to make uh, be creative in nice city. You must build out before you can build up. Residential demand is strong, meaning a city wants to grow even more. And almost all available areas have been zoned already. The pressure is on to start building upward, fitting more Sims in the less space. It's up to you, as mayor, to tell your students where they can start constructing higher-density apartment buildings. Central location like the one shown is a good place to start. I love these tutorials. They commentate for me. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Rezoning existing neighborhoods. You can upgrade lower density zones to higher density by simply dragging the zoning tool over all lots you want to grow taller. Existing buildings will remain until the new until new demand causes those lots to redevelop. Right now, I'm going to select medium density uh, residential zoning tool and drag it over the indicated area, as they're telling me to do. Ah, they don't say do the whole entire area. That's why, uh, that's what I would do the entire area down here, but, um, I guess they don't like spending enough money. I, mean, I, li I like doing it in there. Higher density buildings need a public water supply. No one's building new apartments yet. In order to save money, the former mayor never built a municipal water system. Higher density buildings require public water supply to develop. By the way, this is also true for wealthy residents and businesses. Place a water pump in the location shown. For your convenience, underground pipes have already been built for you. Highlighted in blue. Which you'll see in a minute when the stupid circle starts up doing it in it. when this menu comes. The stupid thing. So slow. Pretty soon you should see them building apartment buildings near new my medium density zone. Now all those other sims eager to move into town will have a place to live. Well done. Remember, medium and high density development requires water. Click to continue. 
city is now on its way to growing taller and taller. One day it will become necessary to start zoning some high-density areas. But it's too soon for that now. High-density zones are expensive, and money will go wasted until the city's population gets higher. Perhaps you are wondering now where the rich folks are. You provide the water they require, but the hard truth is that wealthy students don't need much else, uh, don't see much else they like in this city. They look for nice things like schools, healthcare, and parks in the city. How desirable is this city? Uh, it's like the desirability data, which is down here. Do 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 do. Why did I do that? It's so slow. Low wealth desirability. The areas highlighted green are locations that low wealth sims are one simoleon <laughs> find attractive enough to live in. You can see that poor sims will move to mo most any place that is available and affordable, as long as it's not too wretched. <laughs> this explains why we have so many of them here. Now take a look at the high wealth. R, simoleon, simoleon, simoleon. Desirability and see what high wealth sims think about the city. It's going to be all red and wretched. I think every part is red. Well, like not every part is super red. Some parts are okay ish. High wealth desirability. The red areas show that there are no areas in the city that are attractive to high wealth residents. Our simoleon, simoleon, simoleon. Wealthy sims are going to be choosier, willing to send more or to live in nice areas with proper city services. At first, need you afford to spend more on city services to attract these sims? We can definitely afford it. Just look at this. Shh. <laughs> look at that. You can see that the city is taking in a lot more money each month than is spending, generating a healthy surplus. Previous mirrors that are miser, the city is pretty unappealing as a result. Now, that now that you are here. It's time to start spending. Start your improvements by focusing your efforts in this pretty little corner of town. Away from the grime and noise of the center. Click continue to continue. You don't know how to do that. Begin by building a park. Creating a nice, pretty spot in the otherwise glum city. In this otherwise glum city. Build it on this prominent spot in the neighborhood. Doesn't look that prominent to me. Yeah, it's on the hill and there's a lot of trees and things. I wonder if this will be the first time that the thing goes way down. The park. I don't know, but I have a bunch of mods in parks too. A tiny spot, or park in a tiny spot. That's never an improved desirability. Mwah, ha, ha, ha. I mean, come on, it's just a tiny park. Pretty soon you'll see the area around the park start to develop new, larger homes. The local area has suddenly become more desirable to hire wealthy sims in addition of just a single park. I don't think it would affect that much. And saying that on purpose, by the way, I know what's going to happen. I've already done this tutorial. How can you be sure that this arc attracts more these wealthy residents? You can always refer to desirability maps to you. Things are shaping up in the neighborhood. I mean, come on, that's just going to be a tiny speck right around here. Just measly, just really close. And come on, it's just a tiny park. 
You can clearly see the data uh, area immediately on the park is greener than the rest of the city. I don't see a difference. Doesn't look greener to me. <laughs> so some Andes says his parks and schools have a local old desirability uh, effects in residential development. Imagine a day when your city is covered with such goodness. A green field of desirability. Usually it's just a huge field around you that's super green. But, um, right now for some reason it's not. So we've added a Argus in Bargain City. Where are the rich sims? Inclu increasing desirability is not enough. So you must also have positive demand for high wealth sims or the such so up. That's so weird. Short green bar of the uh, rich indicates there's very little demand for high wealth sims. As yet, there are a few jobs that people in the city. You'll first need to create demand for better paying manufacturing industries and high-tech industries where your city will bloom with wealthy residents. What sort of things do these industries look for in a city? Invest in your sims. When a manufacturing or high-tech business is looking to build a new plant, they look for a city with, quali with a quality workforce, healthy and educated sims. Because the previous mayor never built schools or hospitals, this city sims are mostly illiterate, untrained, and unhealthy. Businesses notice these sorts of things, and so, so they staved away, stayed away until now. Now you are in charge, you can turn things around. Place a school. Ride for higher educations. This school gives children a good start in life, but a good mayor recognizes that education is a lifelong process, and you will need to provide higher levels of education to your sims, including high schools, libraries, and museums. And see, now, this is where it gets way almost under the screen. It's gone all the way to the bottom of the screen before, trust me. Because these menus are so long, it's gone off the screen. And this is a pretty big screen. <laughs> Come on. Wait, it's a high school in the flashing squares. Yes, yeah, so it'll destroy some existing houses. That's worth it, yeah. It's only covering a small part of the neighborhood. Education takes time. Good. Your sims have just started on a path to achievement. Today's children are getting a quality education. They won't enter the workforce until a few years yet. Building schools now will pay off big time in the future. Let your city run at cheetah seed for a while to let the knowledge take hold. And for new industries to take play in notice. Provide for public health. But don't stop now. Keep going. How about building your city's first hospital nearby? Healthier sims uh, live longer and remain in the workforce longer. Another contribution to the city's quality workforce. Come on, click. Ah, oh, finally. A clicking sound. Is that a large hospital? Ah, oh, nice.
Come on. Now you've made some uh, so many bold new improvements with a park, two schools, and a hostel. It's time to take another look at the desirability map. Should be better now if it's finally updated. Doesn't look that much <laughs> different, but it, he, uh, it usually is just a big bright green one, like you see in the central big bright green thing there, like over there. I guess they looked greener before. I don't know. What a difference! You can clearly see that things are looking up in the neighborhood, and all it took was a little investing on your part. Well done. Of course, there are a lot of other areas in the well, maybe I just thought it was greener than before, but I'm. Um, of course, there, there are a lot of areas there in, in the sea are still pretty unpleasant. You have your work cut out for you. Click to continue. Oh. How's the end doing? Before we conclude this tutorial, let's see how demand for better paying industries is doing. The schools and hostels have been in place for a short time, but you might see some changes already. Yes, you're starting to get some more I uh medium industry demand now. Good job. You should start to see uh those lower uh polluting, higher paying companies living in the town. When built, they'll start hiring more educated sims to work in or managerial positions. Some will even get promoted to executive. Way to go, you've completed this tutorial. Remember, these steps in turn your city into sparkling symbol of success. Before before out uh, build out before you try to build up. Provide water to larger buildings. Parks, schools and hospitals will improve desirability. Educated Sims will bring in better paying business. Continue blame the city so you can get some high density development. Okay, exit tutorial. Well, I think I'm going to continue playing this city. I'm going to make sure the building style is the way I like it. Which is Euro Contemporary and Houston 1990. I really like Euro Contemporary, but I just like modern building styles mostly. So I'm gonna <gasps> I'm gonna remove all those. Gee, slow. Oh, I know that radio tower. That's a nice place. Now I think I want to build some more here. Before I go to the next tutorial tomorrow. So slow. Everyone's tracking oh, so slow. I'm probably going to build a larger schools and things.
if this runs. First, they think they're gonna build a mayor's house. I'm going to make extend the medium density residential a little bit. So slow. Ah, huh. trying to find trouble on you. There's no more area soon. It's not desirable enough. Yes, I'm going to build more schools and colleges. Oh, will you just let me do everything? Finally. And of course, look at the finances. Oh, we have plenty of money. So first we'll do a high school, I think. And also an elementary school. Large elementary school. Good. Uh. 
Ah, this is so slow. Does that work? No. Come on. Stop lagging. Of course. Unsuitable. And I just have a hard time calculating some of this. Come on. Why is it unsuitable? I'm glad I have enough money to build this big avenue. This is so slow. I don't like it when things go slow.
why is it then suitable? This. Come on. Go faster. I just want to get this avenue built. Yes. I still want it to go slow anymore. You have to be kidding me. This would run just fine. It would just need for Intel. Are you out of your mind? You're plopping it again? This is driving me crazy. No center of view. <sighs> this thing is just too slow.
No, this looks too weird. Come on. Street. So that's street four. If they like it that way, it'll stay that way. Hmm. Now I'm getting kind of sick of this, so... Ah, finally. No, um... I'm really getting tired of this, and I would want to resolve the strike, but I'll wait for tomorrow to because, um, this isn't a long video, and I want to do something else. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Come on, to stop the recording.